Hi guys, this is Will from the Will of Gaming and welcome to uh, episode update. Uh, I incredibly apologize for the last video. It was just an immediate freak out situation. I didn't even have time to sit and read the articles. I just was looking at titles and was making sure that I was confirmed. I looked inside of it and I read like the first few sentences and I didn't get all the information. So let me give you guys all the information as I'm pretty sure you guys already know, but I wanna be able to record correct whatever I said on my channel so I don't look stupid. First off, one of the biggest mistakes that I was making in my last video was that I kept saying that the NX was delayed. The NX was never announced to begin with. We just had the assumption that based off of rumors that people said, I kind of let it, like me being, you know, just waking up and just all this stuff, that was me talking crazy. So the NX was never announced. So this is, never, this is basically a release date window. So March 2017. So at least we got that. We got a confirmation of when the console is going to come out. Out, but given how Nintendo has been delaying Zelda so much, it's just I have a hard time trusting them. Usually when game consoles get released uh, from Nintendo in March or around that time, it's usually a handheld console. And though we don't know what the NX is, people have been rumored saying it's a hybrid console that's half handheld, half console. People are saying that it's bundled together. People are saying a bunch of different things. There was like a few little videos I watched that they said, well, what if they revealed the NX, the first portion of it, which will be the handheld version in March, and then they'll release the console version in November. So now that I had time to sit and marinate on just everything um, about the NX, for, we're talking about the NX, now we're going to go down the line and just continue. Now that they revealed that the NX is coming in 2017, I honestly think that it is a very smart move because Sony is going to be having the PlayStation 4K Neo supposedly reveal um, in E3 and Xbox is supposedly having all these things so in a way it's great that they release that they just they're waiting for what their competition does and then they're pouncing. I think the original intention was to release it this year but they said well now that the PlayStation 4 Neo was coming out I feel like they backtracked a little bit and they just said okay let's just see what they do and then we'll just make the little attachments I said this. Also another theory that I that I personally have is that I think that they're using E3 this year even though that they don't really have much to show except for Zelda Wii U. I feel that what they're going to do this time around is that they're going to really talk to developers and try to get that third party support. I feel like Nintendo has been hearing these fan theories and these rumors and all these things like that and people's hypes are hype levels are really really high for the console and if they under deliver that then it could just be another Wii U fail. They're trying to make sure and prevent that that doesn't happen. So I just, I really don't, I really don't know what they could do at this point. I feel like this is really, really hard to take in. Also, another smart move that I think that they made with the NX is the fact that they are not showing it at E3. I feel like that's a good thing because if Sony announces the Neo, if Xbox announces something and if they announce anything, I don't know. They haven't stated. This Phil Spencer said no, that they they don't have no plans on doing that. But, you know, people are still assuming that Xbox is doing like a 4K Xbox version. And if that's the truth, then there is that. There's also PlayStation VR. There's just all these things. And they seem like, nah, we'll just do it in our own terms. So if they waited somewhere in like November or something like that, or like... Because even during the holiday season, it's a little bit too late. It's just, I don't know when they can reveal this at a good time to be like, okay. So let's say that they announce it in December or they announce it in November because they said that they will be announcing it this year. Like I said, I have trouble trusting Nintendo on when they're going to reveal stuff and things like that. So they're going to say that they're going to do something and they're going to have, they're going to announce, I'm assuming it will be a Nintendo Direct somewhere later in the year that's going to have the release date, the pricing of the console, the launch titles of the console, and everything. So that would be a one exciting Nintendo Direct, and I feel like that would get the hype up again for Nintendo. Nintendo really doesn't have nothing to offer except for Mario, uh, Paper Mario Color Splash, um for this year and then there's Tokyo Mirage Sessions uh, hashtag Fire Emblem. So I don't I really don't know. I really don't know what 
they're doing, you know, on the 3DS side, they do have Pokemon, Sun and Moon. That's going to blow the hell up, and that's going to be fine. And then they also have their little mobile games and things like that that they can mess around with. But let's move on to the next thing. Uh, Zelda NX and Wii U. Basically, they announced, they confirmed that Zelda will be in an NX. So we're having a Twilight Princess situation here where they released a Wii version and they released an NX version. Um, a Wii version and a GameCube version of Zelda Twilight Princess. The only difference between the two games was that one had motion controls and was mirrored to the right hand. So everything was all right sided. And then the Wii version was everything was all like, or the GameCube version, everything was all left. So the game was literally mirrored with motion controls. And that was the only difference be between the Zeldas. What this is making me think is that the NX has some sort of gimmick some sort of gimmick that that the Wii U doesn't have and this is definitely going to probably be the better version to play it on but I don't know what they could be doing and that scares me. I don't need another Wiimote nunchuck kind of situation. I don't need that because even though that the Wii did sell well it was very short-lived. It was people that bought it and then they didn't play it no more. Like they played it for like a month, they played it every now and again, but it wasn't the main console they were going to. But it was selling because everybody was buying it. Nintendo had so much third party support. It had one of the biggest libraries of all time. And you know, Nintendo lost that with the Wii U. Like how do you go from being top dog to bottom of the barrel? It just, it, it's just, it, it baffles my mind. It's like Sony's done it too with the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 that just dropped to the bottom of the barrel and then they kind of went back up again and now they're really up and so they're the head of the charge. The differences between the GameCube version and the Wii version of Zelda Twilight Princess, there was no difference in the graphics and it was pretty much the same thing. So I'm scared that will this game have Wii U graphics? Not necessarily like that's a bad thing, but you know, this just gives me more questions and answers. And you know, if I was an investor at that meeting, and let's say that I don't play video games or nothing like that, but I was an investor in the meeting, oh, my money would have been out of Nintendo. I would have been livid. I would have yelled at them. I'm like, what are you doing? What do you mean you have nothing to offer? Now, Nintendo's been having a lot of plans. And I feel like what they're doing is that they're saying, look, this is just a storm that we're going to ride but next year we are going to explode we are going to give you everything that you wanted because nintendo's working on a theme park nintendo's working on the mobile app devices games and stuff nintendo's working on like movies and tv shows nintendo's working on more amiibo support nintendo's working on the nx nintendo's working on you know just like games like they shifted all these unannounced wii games and they're putting it to the nx so it's like Okay, so basically what that means is that they gave up on the Wii U and they're still making that PR talk like the Wii U matters and it's like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. You didn't, you didn't even do a price drop for it. It doesn't matter now. So at this point, because they announced a release window for the new Nintendo... And not a lot of people are going to get this, not a lot of the consumers, it's just like usually the consumers who are following, you know, like these news stores will know about this, but not a lot of people will buy the Wii U. They already estimated that under a million units will be sh will be sold, and I agree. And that 5 million units of the 3DS will be sold throughout this year, and that's terrible. It's just, it's just terrible. They've also announced that Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem are also going to be on mobile devices. And I couldn't agree with that more. Like, I feel like those games are definitely mobile type games and that's fine. Just give it some gameplay aspects, please, Nintendo, because Mitomo was so short lived. I couldn't, I, I couldn't. It feels like a dating app kind of because it's constantly asks you questions and then you see everybody else's questions and people could see your questions and your answers and... It just felt like a dating site. I, I just, I don't, I don't know why. It just kind of felt uneasy a little bit. <laughs> That's just me. Zelda Wii U will be at E3. That will be the only game they're showing at E3. They're probably going to have a little tiny direct or a little digital event thing that they're going to have. And it's going to showcase like the gameplay. And if the rumors are true about it, you know, there's going to be like male. You can choose them between a male and a female. I feel like they will showcase that. I feel like they'll give it an official name. I feel like they'll give... They'll probably show that you can change clothes. They'll probably show off like a dungeon, maybe. Then again, I don't want to get too hyped about it, but it's going to be playable. And I'm very, very jealous of everybody's going to E3 because I would love to play it. You know, that's nice. 
I guess the only thing I have to look forward to at E3 is Kingdom Hearts 3. Final Fantasy 7, uh, The Last Guardian, if that's still a thing and it doesn't get delayed and it's still coming out this year like they claim it is. You know, there's Hellblade, there's a few other games. I'm just like, okay. I apologize for that first video. This video is kind of more clear and it's me with a clear head and just time to marinate on it. So I don't think next time I'm gonna just jump into a video like this. So next time it's just gonna be a calm, cool, chill video and not me freaking out and panicking because I freaked out and panicked and I wasn't expecting to be that way. So so I apologize for that if um, the video offended you in any way or whatever, but uh, it's just, you know, you wake up, you see some bad news in the in gaming world. I'm like, this is not like a life or death situation. It's not like some like it's not like the freaking presidential candidates or something. You know, it's this is like this is not that serious. <laughs> but it's like it's gaming is my life and it's serious for me and it's something that I follow it closely and I love it so much. And uh, I'm a little sad. I am. I'm very sad. But in a way, I look at it as a good thing because I have a lot of games in my backlog. I have to play them. I have to play them. Like Dark Souls is literally every. It feels like the the, the further I get in that game, I feel like it's taking my own soul out. You know, and it's just like 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 I'm just taking my own soul out, and I'm just gonna be like a frail little whatever. I'm just like struggling so bad in that game. I don't know why. Not that the bosses are hard. It's just getting to the bosses are hard. That's my problem with, with, uh, with Dark Souls. Like, cause I'm trying to find everything. I'm exploring a little too much and I die and then I have to go through a sec. Anyways, that's not what I wanted to talk about, but thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot that you watch. Uh, thank you guys. I, I'm, so grateful that you guys are watching and that you put up with that first video so you know it's been getting positive reviews so in a way it's kind of funny to watch it so i'm gonna leave it up there because it's just a funny first reaction of how wrong i got it and how i didn't think and i didn't stop to think about everything so that's what it's important so whenever you create a video make sure that you sit you marinate and you really really think about it and then you do your video Never do your video for a rush job. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this has been the Will from the Will of Gaming, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.